Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this simple tic-tac-toe game using javascript. So let's do a demo. As you can see we can play it just like a tic-tac-toe game. And when a player wins, the game will highlight the winning cells. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's create an index.html. We'd also need a style.css. and a main.js okay let's create the basic markup so we can simply say explanation mark and hit tab and it will create a basic html markup so let's close the sidebar and link our css and javascript file so we can say link and we're gonna link our style.css and do the same for the javascript so we can say script source equals to main js so main.js and let's open it up with our live server okay so first thing we want is our body to have that yellow background so we can say body have a background color of yellow okay now we want a game board so we can say dot board let's style it in our css so let's say dot board it should have a height of 300 pixel and a width of 300 pixel let's give it a background so we can see it so we can say background color for now let's say red and i want everything to be centered so we can say body to have a display of flex so we can say display flex and justify content to center and align items to center now it is centered horizontally but not vertically simply because our body does not have enough height so what we can do is say html and body both of them to have a height of 100% so we can say height 100% and now our board is centered both horizontally and vertically now inside that we need 9 cells so what are the cells so in a tic-tac-toe game we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 cells so we need, need to create those cells so we are gonna say div with a class of cell and let's copy it 8 more times so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay now let's give them some styles so we can say dot cell and it should have a border bottom of 5 pixel solid and let's say black and we're gonna do same for the border top so we can say border top to have the same color but now we have a small black area but that is because our cell does not have any height of or width so let's give them some height of width by saying the board to, to have a display of flex you can say display of okay so not flex for th this one we are gonna use grid and we are gonna create a 3x3 three three grid so we can say grid template columns to to be repeat 3 1 fr and we're gonna do the same for the, our grid template rows Actually, it should be bottom sorry not bottom right okay now we have to remove border from these ones the third sixth and ninth cell so we can say that cell colon nth child so we're gonna select every third child and we're gonna say border right to none so they won't have a border right Good. we can remove this red background and now we have to remove border from this bottom one so these are the ninth eighth and seventh cell so we can say that cell colon nth child so this time we're gonna say n plus seven so every child starting from seventh so we're gonna say them to have a border bottom of none so border dash bottom to be none 
and now we have a tic-tac-toe board so they will have some text like a cross or circle so let's see let's give them some styles as well so we can change our font family if, if we want so we can say font family to be something like this and we want the font size to be much bigger so we can say font size to be let's say 50 pixel we're gonna say text align to center we also want to vertically align our text to center so we can say line height of 95 pixel that is because since we we have a 3 by 3 board that is 300 pixel by 300 pixel every cell will be about 100 pixel and since we have 5 pixel border we are saying 95 pixel to be our line height and now text are also centered and lastly we're, we let's add a test class which will be highlight so this class will be added through javascript later on but for now just so can we can we can see let's say dot cell dot highlight oops let's copy that again so control c control v and this one let's copy the background color here this will have a slightly darker background so let's try this and it should work okay so this should be all our actually no let's set the set our cursor to pointer so we can say cursor to pointer and another thing is if we keep clicking it text gets selected we don't want that so we can say selection or user select to be none and now we can select the text okay that should be all our HTML and CSS let's remove this this and this class now in JavaScript first we need to target all these cells so we can say let cells equals to document dot query selector query selector all cells and if we console log them so if you console log cells inspect you'll see we get a li node list with nine divs with the class of cell now we want to convert this node list to array so we can map loop through them more conveniently so we can say cells equals to array dot from so array dot from so this will take this node list and convert it into an array so let's see as you can see now it is an array of all the cells so now we can easily loop through them so we can simply say something like sales dot for each for each we are gonna run this function this will have this cell which is the individual cell so we can simply say something like cell for now add a click event to them so we can say cell dot add event listener click and for now let's just say let's just do a alert clicked so now as you can see whenever I click on a cell it says clicked but instead what we need to do is add some text to the cell so we can say something like cell dot inner text equals to for now let's just say x and let's see as you can see when we click it gets x but we don't want x we want once x then a circle then a cross then a circle and like so so we're gonna say something like let current player equals to x and here instead of saying x we can say current player and it should work the same but now what we can say is current player equals to if previously current player was x we're gonna say current player to 0 otherwise we're gonna say current player to x x or circle whatever you wanna say okay so let's try as you can see now we are alternating between cross and circle but if we click on this cross again as you can see this changes so we don't want that 
so we're gonna say something like if cell dot inner text the trim is not equals to null sorry not equals to an empty string which means for example if we click on this cell then the inner ish, inner text of this cell will be circle or zero so this condition will be false this condition will be true sorry if this condition is true that means a player already has clicked on the cell so we should should not do anything so we can simply say return so now if you click on here it becomes cross but if we click here again nothing happens but if we click on other cells it works just as intended so now after each move is done we are gonna have to check for a winner so we can say check C H E C K check winner check for winner that will check if somebody has won but before that we have to create a variable called let winning comps for winning combinations so winning so what are the winning combinations I mean okay let's open up the figma here so this is our tic-tac-toe board we have nine cells so for example let's say current player is cross so if this cell this cell and this cell all of them is cross that means this player is won this player has won what that means is 0 1 and 2 is a winning combination same for this cell so 3 4 and 5 is a winning combination the 6 7 8 is also a winning combination the same way 0 3 and 6 is a winning combination 1 4 7 is a winning combination 2 5 8 is a winning combination so we have to create an array of array which contains the winning combination so we know 1 2 3 is a winning combination so we'll have an array of 1 2 3 we know 3 4 5 is a winning combination so we'll have 3 4 5 same with 6 7 8 then we have this vertical one so 0 3 6 then we have 1 4 7 and we have 2 5 8 and lastly we have this 0 4 8 and 2 4 6 so let's get them as well so we have 0 4 8 and lastly we have 2 4 6 okay these are all our winning combinations so let's create our check winner function so let's say function check for winner this will loop through all the winning combinations so we can say winning combinations dot for each combination so this this will loop through all the combinations so it will this function will once have this combination once have this combination once this combination and we went, went to say let check equals to and we went to check all the all of this cell so for example for this combination we want to check if this this and this all of this cell has current player so if current player is for example x we want to check if this cell this cell and this cell all of them has a inner text of cross so we can do this simply do this like we can say something something like combinations dot every so for every element for for example 0 1 2 let's call them index or idx for index and we want to say something like cells so we know cells is an array oops it should be cells and we're gonna say cells index so for example if we say cells 1 we should get this cell so we can in case of and since index is just this element we're gonna say cells idx dot inner text the trim is equal equals to current player so if this 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 all of them has cross then this the cross has won if they were circle then circle would have won so we, we can say something like if check so 
the every function will return true if this function returns true for all the for all the combination elements so for all of this if this function returns true then the combination dot every will return true and the check will become true otherwise it will be false so we can just say something like if, if check so that means if current player has won so for now we can simply say something like alert and we can say current player plus and we can say something like has won okay let's try the game so we'll say as you can see it says player x has won let's try to do that for players circle oops okay and now it says player circle has won so now we just have to highlight this else so we can create a function instead of saying alert this we can create a function that will highlight ourselves so we can say highlight cells and this will take the combination the winning combination as its argument so let's create this function copy this and we're gonna say function winning comes and it will go into loop through all the elements so for example if the winning combination is this it will loop through all the elements so we can say something like combinations dot for each we're, we're again gonna get the index and we're gonna say sales index so for example if this is the winning combination we are going to save the first second and third cell to have a class list of highlight so so let's see in our css as you can see we have a cl class of highlight that basically darkens the color of the cell so now if you run this code as you can see the winning cell or winning cells gets highlighted so okay guys that's gonna be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if so don't forget to like and leave your new video suggestions and i'll try to make them as soon as possible thanks for watching